Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Pokemon Go. Well, many of you are thinking, well, we got many leaks today, but did you really actually take the time and analyze everything? We have some great information that many people are missing. So stick around and you get some great information about Pokemon Go and how the game is working. The very first information that caught my eye was Magnemite fighting the Geodude. Well, he was training at a friendly gym and the Magnemite does lose the battle. But once he returns to the Pokedex, the Magnemite still at full health. So this goes against everything we've seen so far and the reports we've been getting from beta players. Now I'll have to check this at the Oaks Lab on the people at the Silk Road and every one of my friends because this might be a breaking news or something we haven't seen so far. So if the Magnemite loses a battle during your training, it might not actually lose its health at all. This way, you will need Max Revive only when attacking enemy gyms and not friendly gyms anymore. Now besides the battling, we also have great information that Pokemon CP actually affects HP, kilograms and height for Pokemons of the same species. If we compare the two Vulpix right here, the 55 and the 69 CP, we can see that as the CP increases, so does HP, weight and height of the Pokemons. Now guys, something you might have known for before, it's still the same. As you level up to level 2, you do get 5 extra Great Balls, and when you level up to level 3, you do get 5 extra Ultra Balls. But from what we've seen on the beta players, is that as soon as they level up, they start finding Great Balls and Ultra Balls all very often at Pokestops. So I'm hoping that this goes on to the real game, this way we won't have to spend much money on real life Pokeballs. Now we had comments before that you need to reach a certain level in order to choose your team. We've seen from this beta gameplay that you actually need no level. As soon as you reach your first gym, even if you're level 1, you will be asked to join a team in order to deploy your first Pokemon at that gym. So even at level 1, you will be able to choose your team as long as you do find a gym that's open and you can go in there and put your own Pokemon. Now guys, to remind you all, as soon as you do deploy a Pokemon, you earn 500 prestige points for that gym. And this way, as soon as you deploy your first Pokemon, your gym will already level up to level two. So the only way for a gym to be level one is if another team comes in, attacks your gym and lowers your prestige. So why is this helpful? Well. If you're going around on a Pokemon journey with a friend, you both may deploy your Pokemons at the same time, at the same gym. So this way, you don't have to actually train and level up your prestige of the gym before your friend can deploy his Pokemon. This way, both of you will be able to deploy your Pokemon without any battles at that gym. Now let's take a look at the Rattata we found here and the Rattata from before. Well, we've seen a big change in evolution shards since before it needed 20 evolution shards and now it needs only 18. Also guys, it confirms the information that Pokemons are having different quick attacks and charge attacks. From what we see, one Rattata has a bite and swift, the other one has quick attack and body slam. Another weird thing I found from this gameplay, I don't know if it's a glitch or whatnot, is that once he reached the Pokestops, it never shown more than 3 items. But, let's see this example where it shows a Pokeball, a Great Ball and an Ultra Ball. As soon as he clicks the first Great Ball, a Pokemon egg comes out and now he has 3 items again. So I'm not sure if it's limited to 3 items or if it just happened if it was a misclick, I don't know guys. But this was weird and it's still showing an egg on the 4th item. So this Pokestop actually had 4 items. Many of you guys have commented on the videos and asked me, well Pikachu only has 4 evolution shards, is this right? Well guys, if you actually look closely on the gameplay, as soon as the Pikachu images go out, it changes into another Pokemon. It's not Pikachu showing up there, it's a bug Pokemon that needs 4 evolution shards. From my experience and what I've learned so far, this is probably a Caterpie. So guys, this was not Pikachu. As you can see, it says 4 evolution shards. I know the gameplay goes from the Pikachu straight to this image, but it's not the same Pokemon. As you can see by the type and also the attacks. One other thing we also got confirmation is that Pokemons that evolve on future generations don't have evolution shards. 
Oregon was a great example for this. As we can see by the images, Oregon has no evolution shard. Now to close this analysis, we can see that battery saver is implemented right now in Pokemon Go Beta. You can enable this and it will save your power. Now I don't know by how much as of now, I'm waiting for the guys to confirm, but we now have a button to save your battery. And as you can see on the right hand corner, the beta is on 0.19.2 as of now. So the 0.19.1 has been updated and Australia already got the 0.2 version. So let's stay in touch, let's keep subscribing, let's share with your friends and I'll keep analyzing everything that leaks and everything that comes out on Pokemon Go. I thank you all and train on.